Do we, start, finals. we don't start on FD, which is, I think, where we started. I don't know, but this is interesting. Like after your stadium or something like that, I can't remember. Yeah, we talked about how this stage is, it has pros and cons. Pros in that, yeah, Peach is going to live a long time, but cons in that a lot of Rishi and Lon's success came from forcing Omsonax to interact with Lon. Right. With more space, can they ignore him more? Maybe. And if they can get around him on the platforms in 2v1 Rishi, that's an issue. Yeah. Because you also need to get Lon to catch up, and as we saw with the Polish Crudo set. Yeah. And when Peach is not able able to make those saves, you know, get into the game, it's an issue. Oh, God. Oh, not quite. Yeah, gets hit with the top of the cloud there. Rishi in trouble. You see there, Lon just really doesn't have any option. There. Yeah. Now we're very quickly getting into the situation where, you know, the hours are getting late. It's not, it's not super deep into it, but you're starting to ask the question, how are we going to kill the blue team? Yeah. How are we going to take these stocks? Grab gets parried there. Rishi in trouble again. Lot also in trouble. Yeah. Now they're both on that side of the stage. And who do you think the impetus lies on? We were talking about how good Rishi was at finding some of these F smashes, finding some of the kills, the dunks. Uh, I think it still relies on him. I mean, you just saw Peach get a forward throw at 150% and it did nothing, right? Okay, nice up air there from Wad. But at 140. Oh, both off stage. What a tail spike. Yeah. Well done. Right now, Amsa and Ash is kind of cruising. Finds another kill on Rishi. Amsa at 166 is just immortal. You can just go down there. Uh, That's good. This is, this is looking rough. I won't say it's over because Rishi and Lot have made some monstrous comebacks. We'll never say it's over, but, but is it already over? No, the down smashes are coming. The cavalry is here. Okay. We're seeing some problems on Pikachu off of up throw. Yeah, no one was talking about that. I mean, I, I think it's because Axe is just very unwilling to jump in teams. Yeah, I think, I so. think there's something to jumping sometimes, right? Oh, wow. Oh, uh, and Rishi's gone again at 58. And there goes Wad. And at this 108. is looking pretty done, though. And this is why I was thinking this stage I, is going to be rough. I, it's kind of neat to, like, go here first. Yeah, maybe. I think it's... I, I actually thought about this, and for my amateur's opinion, I thought this was their worst stage, green team. Their worst stage, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I, I thought the strike would not come here, but I also would definitely see Rishi and Lod being the type of people to just say, eh, we'll go there. We'll get it out of the way. Hmm, maybe. I don't know. Wow, and it might end up being a six stock. Dominant one, too. And just both of them are going to end this with, with percents in the gray. Just a testament. Oh, is that gonna almost kills? And we're just we're just kind of goofing around at this point. Omsa getting carried, but at 196, still not killing. Oh, that, that almost, almost worked. I cannot believe All right, that. There we go. I cannot believe that. That was frighteningly close. That, that would have to just being a me. Oh, look at that smirk. That's a well-learned uh, Yeah, but I think I think that's always going to be their weakest stage. I think that you're getting, you're not killing them. They're living super long, and Peach gets batted away, and the two v one becomes much more doable. It's harder for Rishi to hit, find his forward smashes. I think that's the weakest stage. I expect that we're going to see them go to FD here. I gotta say though, if you're a momentum-based team, that hurt. Oh yeah, that was a punch in the stomach. Yeah. And if you're Axe and Ops, you feel great. You're like, oh, we lost these but we, jokers? We've seen Rishi and Lod reverse the momentum multiple times, so. We have, yeah. We have. it is FD, of course. And now Lod will be able to really get in there and uh, force them to deal with him, as we said. Let's see if the tables turn a little bit. Right now, green team in control. But see, I think, I think Axe can jump out there. I think he just really doesn't uh, want I to jump. Saying. It, because it's a little scarier if you do jump. Tap Whereas no if you don't jump. jump, you always guaranteed get to ledge, even if you take damage, pretty much, is how I think of it. It's like he's happy taking 40. He doesn't really care in that spot. Yeah. He knows it takes long enough that Amsa will get back. Yeah. It's interesting, though, because I don't know exactly what happens to him after double jumping a lot of these spots, because Amsa can help still. OK, both green team off the side of the stage. There's got to be some real estate cleared for Lod right now. Good recovery. And Rishi now in the way of Amsa. And there again. goes Lod, and Rishi's off stage. Gets right under the Thunder Jolt. He should live, yep. You know what? It's also the lead in this matchup, these teams. It's a little bit of a self-reinforcing problem to see. In the sense that if you start holding W toward Axe as Peach a little bit too much, yeah. that's where Axe thrives. Yeah, fair L enough. Lod talked about this at the gauntlet, right? 
where he said, you know, if I played patient, if I played in my game, if I just waited, mm -hmm. I was fine. Mm -hmm. And obviously in doubles, you don't dictate that often, but you know, as soon, like, the mix ups are still probably winning for Peach after Peach approaches, but Axe is so good at them. Yeah, he's, he's played them so many times. Good kill on Amsa. At 190, though. 2v1 oh. into oh. Axe. That's death. Wow. Richie with the setup. That is going to be crucial. But right now, okay, good trust by Law that Richie would be able to find his way down to the ground versus Axe. Damage building up on Opsa. Yo, you love the, the get out of jail. That he, he light shielded into the um, into the Axe up smash was my, really funny. My people need me. I'm out of here. It's a very interesting defensive opportunity for uh, for Yoshi, right? To just yeah. have that tool. Something else that Rishi and Wad have been so good at that I'm like really impressed by uh -huh. is that uh, Rishi will go in and go for just the most shield pressure options, like late there, oh. up tilt something, to facilitate Wad getting a down smash shield poke. I see. Like they're truly aiming for shield pokes and helping each other out with them. It's really interesting. I think that's good. I think green team is ending up separated a little oh. bit too much right now, and it's really hurting. That might be another kill. No, not quite. Oh, nice. wow. Nice. Really, really good by Laud. Yeah. Axe is going to have to be a little more careful in that spot. Yeah, but Oms is still on three stocks right now. means that this is pretty even. That's a big problem. And now just... Oh, my God. With the, the bag garage. He's providing cover fire. Artillery. He's just decimating the whole area. Okay, right now, a lot of death percent. Rishi also in a death position. Lot's okay. got to make his way over. Okay, does it. Up there? Oh! Yep. Good pickup. It's just going to need to take absolute positional understanding and awareness. This is all eyes on Lot and Axe right now. But no, again. it's Rishi who yeah. dies. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, no. You cannot allow the taking of the Prince. Of course, just over. Interesting. Log getting a, a good box out on Opsa there. Okay. 2v1 opportunity. Rishi correctly. Still doable. Could have a 2v1 if they manage to kill Opsa, but there. Lod is also yeah. at death percent. Rishi's at death percent. They're both at death percent. It has to be just a really good Nair or an F smash. Like, it has to happen. Now. Okay. Oh, oh, Rishi swings yeah. a little bit too much. And now. 2 0. Yeah. They've got a solid lead. They've got counter picks to play with. This looks very different for players. Yeah, a hundred percent. And and Rishi hasn't been finding those kills as frequently. Yeah, he had that one really beautiful tipper at seventy percent kills That's the right. Pikachu. But uh, we've seen also just as frequently now that he's rip letting a forward smash rip. It gets shield and then he gets punished for it. Right. It's a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit worrying because Axe got caught sleeping. I guess two times on recovery mm -hmm. or, or outplayed. I guess is probably the fair way to see it. And then all of a sudden, Lod ended up on one side of the stage. Rishi and Axe ended up on the other. Yeah. And, and you Rishi know, died. And it was going great winners in that spot, but it, it was pretty significant, you know, outplay slash misplays going on in winners. Whereas in losers, we're seeing something a little bit more normative. You just don't want to be in that situation. Yeah. And it just keeps happening. Okay. And again. Oh god, is this gonna be uninteractive on Lot's side? Can he do anything about this? Okay, he can. Interesting. Oh. Oh god. Well done. Oh my god. And he gotta get a nair. Great jump by Axe to get out of that grab. But wow, Rishi chases him down, ends his life. Slightly green team. No, like what would I need to see to feel like the green team could win this? It's just got to be positional cohesion, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, this is just tough. I want to see them starting to win those 1v1 situations again, where right now, look, it's not going their way. But in winners, it really was. It's going great for them in winners. Yeah. <laughs> Good recovery by Rishi. Oh, that's going to do it. And I think that at that percent, there's not much you can do. But it was good to see Lod on the same side as Rishi, trying mm -hmm. to stop that from happening. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh the egg actually yeah. helps out green team. I'm still kind of upset about that when I saw a little nod. 
Okay, Rishi in front, makes sense with the percent. Bobsa getting thrown toward really? Lot, actually. Yeah, that was surprising. I thought he would use it to ward off the Pikachu. Oh, I see you're saying throw into? Yeah. This is an edge guard. Well Wait. done. Okay. Yeah. Hard I to see. Get it. Is Lot gonna die? No. Yeah, oh. he is because of the thunder coverage. I thought the cloud was going to be too low, but Axe actually double jumped up there first. Oh, gets the up air out of the down smash. I don't think the down smash itself would have killed. That was really big. Beautiful. Actually, I'm in trouble here. This no could jump, be no a jump, kill. No jump. Oh, uh, the Nair sends him back onto stage. The wrong way. Now they're building up some percent. Now they're finding some kills. Green team coming alive. That's death on Amsa. 2v1 on Axe for a little bit. They almost get a big sort of sandwich with the Nair, but it misses. Red team both at death percent. Can Lot do anything to stop this edge guard from Axe, or is it going to be both of them? No, it's going to be a save. Signs of life. Signs of life. Oh, no, but Lot just drops. Uh, Rishi also just down there was, to his death. What I don't get is that it seemed like Lot was maybe incidentally doing that, or doing it on purpose. Excuse me. Yeah. Because Lot knew the spawn would put him near Rishi. Oh. But that just you wow. know. Okay. Okay, I, I, it, it might not end up mattering. Yoshi M124. Gonna oh. have a hard time, and yeah, just gets down tilted. We need to see more of that, actually. We need to see more contestation of those... Ledge of Ledge X. Of that artillery on Ledge. Ledge, Ledge X, of if you don't know, are never fully invulnerable. Even if you do it frame perfectly, oh, it's you're got always one vulnerable frame. for one frame. Yeah, exactly. Now, b both of these characters... Well, Peach can be okay at contesting it with Down Smash, but a lot of the time she'll get egg before the Down Smash gets all the way through. Marth is not the greatest at contesting those ledge eggs because he doesn't have a consistent move that stays out. Well, I was thinking about it. If you get the first part of it, like if I start the move when he's invincible, but it ends the move while he's invincible, I guess, or intangible, tangible, whatever it is, right? Yeah. I still lose, right, because I started the move. Yeah, exactly. You have yeah. to actually time, time it frame perfectly. Which is why having longer uh, lasting hitboxes isn't so important. No, I see. Yeah. You just got to do it right, though. Yeah. At the end of the day, there's... At that point, Rishi timed it right, and also probably Amso was also not frame probably, perfect. There was yeah. probably more than one frame of vulnerability. Especially after that first one. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's hard to do a frame perfectly. Especially because if he does it frame perfectly, it's also slightly less safe. Oh, no. Oh, that's dangerous. Oh, and I think he's Big, dead. Yep. yes. Nice conversion for Mobsa there. Oh, God. Yeah. We saw Pikachu just doing some defensive down smashes there. Uh -oh. oh, Axe is just on a pond in Warpath. Oh, no. And he makes it back. You dead. Yeah, because he was not DIing well there. And it also, it's, you know, Pikachu gets really big in that up B. It's always really worth it to try and edge guard with yeah. Mark because you can just throw the hitbox, maybe find a kill to low percent. Mm. I feel like Rishi has been in a dangerous situation basically this entire, entire game. game. Yeah. Meanwhile, Amsa just flowing just, around. Uh, I, 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 he just spot dodged <laughs> eight times in a row. Because he knew Amsa was going to come to help, too. That's crazy. So now it creates this really perverse notion where every one of those spot dodges could be a grab and a back throw on Rishi. Yeah. Oh, my God. That was messed up and we're still in a spot where Amsa knows that if he just avoids F smash it stays away from Peach he'll live forever huge lead for the blue team seven to four we've seen this before oh my god Amsa just picking with the platforms when he wants to engage Rishi off stage again lots nearby will it matter nice nice save nice save good save finally finds the first kill Pikachu doing some kind of funky stuff on Battlefield to try and keep the green team away. It does work. Okay. These percents do not bode well for Rishi and Lod. That's going to be a back air. Lod just cannot get through. Amsa is dealing with him. Lod finally okay. makes it and does kill Axe. But they're pretty far behind. They are. That's a lot of damage from the down smash. Rishi jumps out. Can he get out of the corner? He's kind of just fighting in the corner, and it might cost him his life. I think it might. A lot defending, okay. doing well, but the percentage, you know, at this point, if you just keep putting them into those positions over and over again, blue team is going to cruise. Ah, oh, huge. Down to three and lives. Lot gets clipped, too. He's forced to upbeat. Now it's Rishi by himself for a bit. Does do a wall in there. Oh. Green team barely holding on here. 
Great grab. Oh, that's death on one. Last stocks for the green team. Rishi 2v1 does just do the jab to keep him away, but Amsa almost had a kill set up there. Law to the rescue. Down Five by stocks to two. Three stocks. Oh, man. It looks like we're going to see Amsa Axe, Cody, j -Boop. It does and look Files. that way. Unless something huge happens here. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Smash. Turnip. Oh! The turnip saved him. Unbelievable. The turnip saved Axe. It did. That was a huge deal. 152% Pikachu is really scary. He's just up smashing. Yep. He knows that that stock does not have a lot of gas left in the tank. We're just going to get off stage. Okay, Pikachu's dead. Rishi is alive. But Omsa gets caught on the platforms with down smash. 26%. That's going to be the start. Lot pushed off stage. Rishi pushed off stage. It's dangerous. Barely living. Last hopes here for the green team. The brothers may go yeah, down here. And that's a very solid 3-1. Yeah, exactly. 3-1 one way and winners, 3-1 the other way and losers. You can see Omsa and Axe really happy about the fact that they were able to put that together. We've seen a couple losers runs from them. If I remember Apex well, they also made a losers run, and mm. I think the match was Cody J. Mook, Omsa Axe. Oh, really? Yeah. And Cody J. Mook looked very, very equipped to handle the team. Yeah, I mean, Cody is a beast against Yoshi. I can't overstate it enough. He, he's uh, quite strong at killing the dinosaur. I think that it's going to be a big mountain for Ansa and Axe, right, if I'm being honest. But we'll see what they can do in Grand Finals. I think it's going to be very tough. The interesting thing was that, um, you know, J-Mook and Cody are both very, very good versus both of these two characters. At Apex, they won in teams. And then J-Mook actually loses to... Ansa in singles, or to Axe in singles. It, to Ansa in singles, and then Axe also. He lost to both of them? I'm trying to think about, like, the tournament. That was... Apex was... I don't really remember, to be I, it's honest. Been, I'm, like, I'm getting all the tournaments mixed up. I, I know that, that J-Mook's record against Axe is not good. I mean, against Amsa is not good. Against Amsa, it's like, all right, yeah. Yeah. It's like kind of even. And then Axe, it's not super great either. Yeah. Right. And then Cody actually, I think, had some trouble versus Axe in losers hmm. at Apex. I feel like I'm just I don't know. making this up at some point. My know. point being, they're really good against this team. <laughs> okay. Even if they're having trouble in singles, Again, in singles that the tournament. team looks convincing. Yeah.